have to say there, there are a bunch of unknowns because the number of ions that actually cross the membrane to create an action potential is not necessarily that high. And, and it depends on, we need to know more things than we know to have an accurate number. What those calculations tend to have ignored historically was anything else, because <laughs> they didn't know how to do a calculation for the synapse. They knew how to do it for excitability. And so the historic view has been the reason the brain's so expensive is because of electrical activity. I would say uh, the, all the evidence we have now is that the axons themselves are not, not that expensive to keep running with electrical activity. It ends up being the synapses being things that are probably the things we have to pay attention to. Mm -hmm. um, now, there may be exceptions, of course, and, you know, the brain is a complex organ with lots of different cells, but the, the synapse has been, had been ignored as an important part mm -hmm. of this. So we know two things. One, it's a super sensitive part that really breaks, breaks far before uh, the ability to fire an action potential if you cut off fuel supply. Yeah, and the yeah. other, the, the data we have now coming that's not published looks like yeah, it, and it, actually, some of it is published that it wasn't so much the electrical activity. It really was all about the synapse and why it's so expensive. <laughs> I, mean, I wanted to separate the two concepts of expense versus sensitivity. 